Hey guys, what's going on? This is Eric Broaddus back again with another video. And today's video, I'm going to shift back to some military content. And today's video, I want to um, title it Maintain Your Focus and Discipline in the Military. Again, it's Maintain Your Focus and Discipline in the Military. Now, when we talk about focus or discipline. Discipline is the rule or the guideline or the rule of law, whereas focus is more um, mental, what you set your mind on. And so in the military, it's extremely important that you maintain your focus and discipline. All branches of the armed forces, they have their set rules or guidelines. Now, Granted, the United States um, military is obviously governed by the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And there is, in all branches as a whole, a culture, but within each branch of service, it has its own subculture, and each branch has their own rules and regulations and guidelines and policies that they are directed under. They have different directives and when I talk about maintaining your focus and discipline in the military that means to be ready to meet um, certain standards that are expected of you now how do you do this well first of all uh, I feel it's very important for each military member or even those of you that um, may even consider joining know what the rules and regulations are you need to know exactly what the parameters are and exactly what guidelines and standards you are to go by and what you have to meet if there's no standard set or no expectation then how do you know exactly what to whether you are meeting it whether you're below it or whether you are exceeding it and you also need to know um, the actual rules or um, directives so that you can figure out okay um, how to operate within the rule of law within your branch of service and some of the things I would um, point out as far as making sure you maintain your focus and discipline you might ask well, okay well like what um, one of them I would definitely say is make sure that you meet certain suspenses or deadlines. Um, what are the expectations of your supervisor? What are the expectations? What are the expectations of your commanding officer? As I said, each branch of service and each unit within that branch of service has its own subculture. And so according to that culture and the rule of law is what that combination is what you're going to be what is basically the stick or the measuring stick that you have to measure up to so learn what the rules are first and foremost know the regulations of your branch of service third find out what are the expectations of your leadership what do they expect of you now some areas where you definitely have to maintain your focus and discipline um, besides meeting um, deadlines is I would point out military fitness you have to be disciplined in your fitness regimen in any branch of service because they have a certain standard that they expect you to meet certain height and weight standards and for each branch of service obviously that is going to be different and also it may depend on what type of um, what type of job you do you know obviously uh, special forces is going to be in a different category as set to a whole nother bar but irregardless each branch has their standards and, and policy and guidelines how you do your job how do you perform what are the performance standards that are actually in writing what is expected of you in doing your job so you want to make sure know what your job is but also know 
what the performance standards are because this is your career and in the armed forces um, it differs from the civilian world because in the civilian world you may work a nine to five and then um, what you do after that is your business in the United States military you are on duty 24 7 so you have to conduct and carry yourself in like manner because you never know who's watching certain things that you can that you would not get in trouble on the civilian side in the military you can um, one would be uh, fraternizing fraternization and you know normally that's um, between officers and enlisted having unprofessional relationships whereas on the outside I mean it can have an effect and they may frown upon it but you are not legally necessarily legally bound not unless that company has that in in policy but in the united states armed forces according to the uniform code of military justice fraternization is a no-go and other things that would be considered a crime in the military but not outside would be adultery that means um uh, being in a relationship with uh, a married person it's um it is something that you definitely can get in trouble for and so there are I mean there's other areas but with the military you have to wear different hats whereas in on the civilian side you don't you don't pretty much you don't have to as long as you stay within the parameters of that particular job what you do after that is your business whereas in the military they have a lot more control over your life so you want to make sure to keep your nose clean. You know, make sure you um, stay out of trouble. You know, abide by the rule of law. And I've said it in other videos in the past, no shortcuts. Because when an institution such as the military has um, strict or stringent control over you and some way or some form they kind of can dictate um, what you can and cannot do and so because it's, it is more regimented than the civilian sector you have to be disciplined and maintain focus and I'm not saying that it's always going to be easy but in the military that right there that's that's part of the job it, it is a must you are expected to um, maintain focus and uphold discipline that comes with the territory but I don't want to belabor you guys too long in this video but again maintain those of you that are in maintain your focus and your discipline while in the military when you're in that while you're in that uniform and serving maintain it because it doesn't take much to mess up something that is is good and I've seen many of people lose their careers over a lack of discipline and lack of focus I, I have seen it and I just pointed out just three quick areas but maintain it know the rules and regulations of your prospective branch of service and know what is the what is expected of you as a subordinate and also if you happen to be in leadership know um, what your subordinates expect expect of you you know military leadership is is unique you know it's different you wear many different hats and the higher you go the more weight you have to carry so maintain your focus and discipline doesn't matter that's from E1 all the way up to and to uh, uh, o 10 maintain your discipline and focus that's all I have for this one guys and I will see you on the next one um, my channel is Eric Broadus YouTube that's E-R-I-C B-R-O-A-D-U-S YouTube or Eric Broadus YouTube.com and I also have an audio podcast called Snacks Thoughts and you can find me on Spreaker on iTunes and other social media platforms but please check me out over there and I have um, just an array of different um, content that I do on a uh, podcast thanks guys for listening please 
um, hit the like button or the unlike button and hit that share button. Share the video and thanks for your time. For those that are subscribed, tap that bell so you can get um, any future videos, live streams, or any other um, podcast that I may be doing. That's all I've got. But again, for those that desire to go in the military and those that are in, maintain your focus and discipline. It goes a long way. Peace.